Today I want to show you the solar dashboard. Uh, as you know, my uh, trailer project has uh, quite a lot of solar panels on it. I've used the um, ESP8266 uh, to um, to make this dashboard. This is hosted right now on the uh, ESP8266 module. So right now what's happening is this is plugged into the solar charge controller in the trailer. The module is uh, connected to the Wi-Fi and then I'm just accessing it from, from my home network. Let's see, pretty much the whole top is covered. So, it's quite dirty, should clean it, but we're making plenty of power to keep the battery topped off. And, um, and when, you, when you load it, it loads up this, uh, these, uh, this graph. Right now I'm graphing uh, the solar uh, wattage, the um, voltage of the panels, the battery voltage, and then I have the uh, battery current and the solar current here. So right now you can see, right now you can see how um, this was. These are the last 24 hours. So this this is a sliding a sliding scale. The last 24 hours, and um, you can see uh, yesterday was. Yesterday was rather cloudy, and um, so the power dropped out quite a lot. And then overnight, there's obviously no sun, and you can see the battery voltage slowly dropped down to 12.3 uh, volts. And um, and then this morning, the sun comes up, the battery goes uh, right back up to 14.4, and um, and then after sitting there for a while, the charge controller drops it down to 13.7 or so. So you can see, and uh, th at that point, the, uh, the this area here is in uh, MPPT, the maximum power point tracking. And uh, and then at some point, the voltage uh, on the panels is it goes out of MPPT mode because the battery is fully charged, and then now it's in float, so it's putting about 80 watts. Of charging the battery, it's in the afternoon right now. So this project, I'm I'm just uh, working on a board. This is the board that I come up with. It's got a Node MCU board, basically just gonna drop right in. Um, and then we've got our RS four eight five converter. We've got some uh, status LEDs, an SD card reader, and the um, RJ forty five connection to the solar controller. And this goes into a nice enclosure like this and the and then you just plug in it gets powered through the uh, RJ45 here and I'm going to be making this available on the snack tech shop as a as a kit probably right now the SD card is not used but I'm thinking that it would be good to save uh, data log this data it's another day and uh, you can see it's uh, about uh, 12 noon and we can see yesterday's production was terrible. Uh, it was um, pretty cloudy, so we we're only making about 50 watts peak. And uh, today is a lot better. Um, right now, I'm generating about 230 watts. You can see here, and uh, we're at uh, the 50 volts MPPT mode. That's 50 volts is the maximum power point of of the. Around 50 volts is the maximum power point of the system, and um, our battery current is uh, 20 amps, and we're making quite a lot of uh, power here. So, and I want to show you a bit behind the scenes about how this works. So right now, this website is hosted on that uh, ESP module, and um, I'll show you some of the uh, code. So basically, this, the website um, is using a bunch of JavaScript uh, frameworks, uh, one for the chart, using uh, chart.js and um, and using um, for these gauges I'm using uh, justgauge.js and then for the layout I also added bootstrap to make it easy. Uh, right now I have a one megabyte SPI FFS um, A one megabyte uh, partition 
and you can see all this is uh, 619 kilobytes so it's taking quite a bit of room but so the main website is just this HTML file and all we're doing is um, using bootstrap to lay out the uh, the gauges and uh, and the, the chart so then most of it what's happening is in this uh, chart.js file and this generates uh, all the uh, the graph and the the chart and everything it also uh, does the updates so that uh, I'm always seeing the latest information and it all works pretty well I'm still working on it still work in progress so um, so right now you see the power went to zero because it's doing a MPPT sweep. The, the charge controller seems to do that sometimes. You can see as the power goes up, the voltage drops. It's doing a full, this is a great demonstration actually, it's doing a full sweep. And you can see it's now going to come back. It's going all the way to the minimum, now it's coming back up. And it's, uh, it's going to find out where the maximum power is and kind of See, it's at about 48 volts, and that's where it's going to stay. The kit will be that board you saw basically and uh, in an enclosure like this. And uh, that way you could just plug and play right into your, into your EP Ever solar system. Uh, you could also obviously modify the code and download the code and, and change it to your liking. You'll be able to plug in a USB port to program. So I'll make the kit available for pre-order on the website to see what kind of demand there is. Uh, if you're looking for a dashboard, a solar dashboard, and you have an EP Ever, EP Solar controller, um, this might be a convenient way to get it going. Um, I made this for myself, but I'll make the kit available, you know, so that you can get started and not take as much time as it took me to get this all going. So you can obviously uh, I'll put make the code available after. After I uh, clean up the software a little bit, and um, yeah, um, I'll probably try to add the SD card functionality and uh, data logging, and maybe some uh, some other features. So please let me know in your in the comments uh, what other features you want. Don't forget to subscribe to see the next videos, and see you later.